Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a few cards for you in my Recycle With Me series. So, for today's Recycle With Me, I will be using these bubble wands. Now that summer's over, I had the idea, and this one here with the star, the handle actually broke off, and that's why I got the idea as I was cleaning up. Um, and this one here, I didn't end up using in the video, but you could definitely experiment with different ones. And these ones I did use for a background but didn't end up making the card so I'll show you the process and you can try this if you like so what I'm doing is just grabbing out some distress oxide inks you could definitely experiment with paint and texture pastes or whatever you like to use with stencils and have fun with this um, so just using the fossilized amber distress ink and blending it on here with the Dollarama makeup brush. So for the star bubble wand stencil, I just used this one, the yellow. And then I will go ahead and use water to spray after I put the stencil on. So here we go. I sprayed a lot of water. Um, I wanted to really make sure that that design came out. And then I just used a paper towel to dab the excess water off and to just lift the ink. And you can see that it's starting to lift. And then just continued to do this until I was happy and until I was brave enough to take the bubble wand or the stencil off of my paper and there we go just getting off the extra water and I really like how that turned out so again just doing another one so I'm using the broken china distress oxide ink and blending it on and then I will grab the wilted violet and add that and blend that together with the broken china ink And then I'm using the circle one and adding the water and dabbing off the excess water with the paper towel. And you can definitely see this coming together. And I just kept doing this again until I was happy with it and I took it off. And yeah, definitely got rid of the excess water and this these ones didn't turn out too well um, it didn't pick up the shapes as well as the bigger bubble wands um, but I still wanted to include it maybe you can get better results I'm curious to know if the dollar store I got those two bubble wands at the dollar store and I'm curious to know if they have other designs in them when in the bubble world it just looks cool but you don't actually get star bubbles but definitely was fun to experiment with now and give these bubble makers bubble maker wands a little bit longer life after summer and yeah I'm definitely gonna give the star one to my kids to trace and learn how to draw stars so why not right I love stretching the creativity and thinking outside the box. So again, just applying the water and dabbing it off. Perhaps it was just about adding more water here or it was just, I'm not really sure. It still looked cool, but I wasn't in love with the results as much as I was the other ones. So now I'm going ahead and just stamping some sentiments to finish off the cards. And so this is the happy birthday sentiment from Simon Says Stamp. Um, it's no secret. 
stamp set, I believe. And just using some Simon Says Stamp white embossing powder on this black cardstock. And then I go ahead and cut the sentiment out. And then I will adhere it to the card for a quick and simple look. And I really love how the black just pops in the middle of this card and the circle and just really stands out with all of the colors that are here. So then for the star one, I used a sentiment from the Alain Font stamp set and it is called Ready, Set, Shake. It was for their snow globe add-ons, but it was simple and it worked for this. So I'm just using the Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink. Once again on the black, I'm going to make that sentiment pop with some white embossing powder and heat set that and then add it to the card for a clean and simple look. And then I wanted to add a little bit more to this card once the sentiment was adhered. Putting it in the middle there with the advanced tape glider to adhere everything down. And then as a final touch, I used some English mustard Nouveau drops just here and there to add a little bit more interest to this card. And that is going to finish up the cards. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I have more videos coming your way soon. Thanks so much. Bye for now.